All right, so uh, full disclosure, when I originally recorded this video, uh, I had access to a Max Transcended um, T20 Yamamoto, but my boy Prex, that was his alt account, so it didn't wasn't really fully built up. So that's what's gonna be the showcase for this Epic Great Awaken. My boy Marcellus actually let me showcase his Max Transcended Yamamoto, and I'm not gonna lie, Marcellus, head captains, uh, let's just say that that account is <laughs> fully built up, and Yamamoto's PP is just slightly li larger and a lot thicker. So we're going to show this off first uh, during the video. I will say that I will do epic raids after or show the epic raids after. I'm going to show it first just so you can get an idea of how beefy uh, this character's special move is. Uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so here we are in the Kisuke Urahara Awaken raid. I'm not gonna do a full like solo playthrough like I did with the original epic raid, just because this boss ended up like awakened epic raids, especially new raids, end up having how do I put it, like 50 times more HP. Like it's something stupid, right? So whereas Udu, for example, Ichigo's Soul Bomb was able to deal about 40%. I uh, this Yamamoto deals roughly double damage of the seventh anniversary Ichigo with his soul bomb so if Ichigo is able to deal 40% in awakened you'll see here that this Yamamoto will slow it down the damage numbers when uh, when it comes up boom boom okay so let's uh, slow that down all right, and if you t actually take one of these numbers, right, let's just take the last hit, for example, at 138.8932, we're dealing 1.3 million per hit here. Keep in mind, we do have double damage when we're bonus. Like, just this, the seven hits after the initial hit, since um, I couldn't even slow it down, like, it doesn't even show you the how much you dealt for the first hit. We're dealing 9.7 million, and if we divide the 25% full stamina damage boost this cur character currently has, and then we multiply it, you can get up to 60% full stamina damage boost in um, in epic raids if you're using the pets, and let's just assume that we're using the proper links, right? That's gonna be an increase of damage of a total of 86 plus 60, so 146. So this is gonna be multiplied by 240 2.46 2.46 and you'll see the damage here we're dealing roughly 19 million damage with that soul bomb not even taking into account the first hit because like i said we can't really uh we actually could calculate that we let, let, screw it let's bring it down 1.338932 so that 1.3 million we're gonna actually divide by 1.5 that's gonna remove the weaken we're gonna divide by 1.6 that's gonna remove the double weaken defense we're going to divide by 1.8, that's going to remove the damage to burning and weaken enemies. And then we're also going to divide... No, that's that, that, That's pretty much it. So 321,500, and uh, that will be the original hit. So it's going to be 19... Okay, so and we're going to divide the 1.25, multiply this by 2.46, plus the 19,000,000... 33927 boom so his soul bomb dealt a combined total of 19.766 million if he had the full stamina damage boost links as well as the familiars right so that's actually kind of crazy damage just in general all right what's going on guys fellows back again coming at you the showcase on the new genrusai yamamoto max transcendent and t20 shout out to my boy marcellus for allowing me to do the showcase and yeah without further ado let's just get into uh I do love how his flame is not 3D. I love that it's like 2D. Like you see the the width of that, but then when you do this, <laughs> like it just becomes like this paper thin thing. Like, come on, Caleb, you can do better. So he is a Soul Reaper captain, and he was given two killers, which, in my opinion, I feel kind of was kind of necessary. Now, Marcellus told me that he literally did guild quests a couple days ago or yesterday. 
He said that he used this character for a range or a wrong card week and said that he's his soul bomb actually went all the way through to the final phase. Now, for those that don't understand how crazy that is, you actually get damage times five if you have the appropriate killer. So being able to soul bomb while having one fifth of the appropriate damage is absolutely freaking insane. All right, so next he does have weaken and burn on all of his attacks. We are rocking a ton of spiritual pressure, a total of 6,120 spiritual pressure, as well as 1,771 focus. Going into his actual uh, accessories, we do have the Lieutenant's Badge, Fortification Pill, and Artisan OT set. Um, he doesn't have the Hollow Bait, which is kind of strange because you're, you're in Head Captain, so I usually assume that it's just the Mega Whales that have like everything already maxed out and nothing else to do <laughs> but um yeah so we do have full standard damage boost as well as weakened defense for the links we have senkaizen to replace the spirit society of rukia and then we also have the chad and the orihime chad being oh, dude i wish that we could get more of him i want him five out of five but caleb literally is only giving us one every two months which in my opinion kind of sucks but i mean it is what it is uh going into his actual skills we do have a berserker of 40 percent Havoc 20%, Frenzy plus 1, he does have Status Ailment, Spiritual Pressure Boost plus 80%, he has Marauder which is awesome to go along with um, his built in weakened defense. With the T20 skill we do have weakened defense applied here so this is a double weakened defense so keep that in mind. This is going to be a total of 60% extra damage onto our Soul Bomb when it comes down to using our Soul Bomb. Uh, debilitator plus five seconds bombardment plus one frenzy plus one shared complete status immunity so he is immune to all status ailments as well and we'll pass that along to his allies full stamina damage boost 25 percent from the t15 skill full stamina damage boost across the board thank you to his Wonderful links that he currently has equipped and a strong attack recharge of 34%. Usually I'd like to see that up to like at least 40%, but for the sake of uh, I want to see that soul bomb damage, <laughs> we're going to be using this build. Now, unfortunately, we don't have IT available to us because it's not currently out. I will show a nuke of a Genrusai. Um, so this Genrusai is 5 out of 5 max transcendent T20, uh, 250 SP instead of the 500 SP for the last slot. And he doesn't have full stamina damage boost links, which is unfortunate. But, like, you can just clearly see how much damage his soul bomb is actually going to be able to do. And yeah, alright, so without further ado, let's take this character into IZ and see what kind of damage numbers we can get with this Genrusai in particular. Now, I'm incredibly excited because I did get to playtest that other uh, Yamamoto for quite a lot, quite a bit, to be honest, and I was incredibly impressed considering that that wasn't even a fully maxed out Yamamoto. So this one, we're actually going to be fully decked out and seeing exactly what we can do here. Uh, let's see, yeah, sure, we'll replace this one. We could get a bit more strong attack damage if we get one of the characters that increases our boom boom our strong attack damage but i don't really want to do that i want to see what yamamoto himself can do obviously we can also give ourselves like a boost right all right so first strong attack is that 3000 length beam boom boom oh lord oh we have killer here too Six thousand a tick and that's before our spiritual pressure boost even comes out Alright, I'm gonna just, let's just play this safe. There's our spiritual pressure boost. For strong attack, 66,247. I'm gonna actually pause the game here. So 66,247, that's a character that did not get weakened or burned or anything, right? So multiply that by six. 400,000 damage with his is it six all right so his first strong attack does indeed have six hits to it so 397,000 damage if just from his his attack now if the enemy was weakened and burned because he does both uh let's actually check out that type of damage um first the damage from the weakening then the damage from the damage and burn boom so his first strong attack, if the enemy was weakened or burned already, we're dealing 1 million damage off rip from that one attack. I do want to get our 
<clears throat> Status element spiritual pressure boost. Ninety seven hundred from the vortex, okay. Two hundred sixty. I'm putting that in just for reference. Okay, so his second strong attack has two hits when it comes to that 260,000. Uh, keep in mind the enemy was not inflicted with the status element during that. Um, so we're going to multiply this by two. And then we're also going to have this 520,000 is going to be how much we deal with just the 960 AoE. The 9700, multiply this by 50 because that's how many hits we get from the Vortex. Is going to be 485,000, 520,000. Boom. The second strong attack hits for 1 million, assuming the enemy was not even inflicted with status elements. If they were inflicted with status elements, this move would hit for 2.7 million. Um, honestly, damage to weaken slash burn plus 40% each, giving you 80% extra damage on top of your 50% damage with weakening. <clears throat> kind of OP. Um, little bit unfair. Very, very... It, it, uh, I'm I'm still very confused as to why Caleb made this character. I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I kind of goofed it. it. It's not a big deal to be honest. Um. Also, since he does have that homing vortex, it's very very easy for him to build combo. We'll probably lose our switch pressure boost right now. Third strong attack, 75,000 off the third strong attack with eight hits. Seventy-five thousand is kind of stupidly OP for like, like off rip, 600k. And if they're inflicted with uh, weakening and burn, 1.6 million. Yeah, chump change. <laughs> oh, it's like unnecessary. Boom. I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't... I didn't even catch that. <clears throat> Let's see if we can do it again. Before our Isane kills. 292,000, 272,000. We'll average that out to like 280,000. I feel like that'll probably be easiest. 280,000. Keep in mind, we do get 60% extra damage for having Killer here. 280,000, that's gonna be just raw damage from the first hit. Okay, so let's uh, calculate everything in together. Now, the multipliers that this guy has after his first hit, he does have Bombardment, so his special move hits eight times, okay? So, we're gonna multiply this original 280,000 by seven, because that's gonna be the amount of hits, but before we do that, we're gonna actually calculate in the damage that we would deal since for every subsequent hit. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Times 1.5 for the weakening, times 1.8 for the damage to weaken, damage to burn enemies plus 40% each. I, like I said, it becomes additive, not multiplicative, so times 1.8. And then now we have 756,000 damage per hit. But we didn't even calculate in the fact that we have double weakened defense, right, on this character in particular. So every single tick of this man's special move hits for 1.2 million. That means that every single hit after the initial 280,000, like the 270,000 he dealt to him, the 290,000 he dealt to that other person, after that initial hit, he will co deal a combined total of 8.46 million damage. And uh, if we add it all up together, boom. This character will deal a total with his soul bomb to each individual enemy Assuming he has killer and they're not immune to weakening or burn because sometimes they do that in IT He's gonna be deal dealing roughly 8.7 million damage and even if 
even if for some reason Caleb goes, oh, the enemies can't be weakened anymore um, for this IT in particular, uh, then we just divide the 1.5. Uh, we divide the 1.8, but we multiply back in the 1.4 because they can still get burned, probably. And that's still a 4.3 million damage soul bomb, which this makes Bankai Hikone dry heave to hell. Like, Bankai Hikone right now is struggling to breathe with the amount of damage that this Yamamoto deals with his soul bomb. Yeah, I think. A Bankai Hikone Max Transcended T20 hits for roughly 850,000 with his Soul Bomb. I might be a bit, I might be a bit off because it's been a while, and now we have T20 skills. So I guess you could give him weakened defense and full stam on top of that. So maybe he hits for 1.2 million. <clears throat> but geez, man, no, 4.3 mil. That's kind of overkill, bro. We did for a 40 second run without even like I wasn't, I wasn't trying to clear quickly. <laughs> Like, like I, I'm literally just, like, checking the character out. All right, let's do one more. Now, I think what we're going to do, maybe we build up the combo. I mean, it's not like he's going to struggle to build combo. Yeah, it's already we already built the combo. Three hundred five thousand to the enemy in the far back, dude. Yeah, that 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 seems consistent too with the combo being increased. 308,000, bro. He doesn't have hit hidden enemies, so you might want to run him with hit hidden enemies so you don't have to worry about the underground people. Um, so that's one thing that he's uh, he's not really privy to as opposed to like Aizen. A lot of people are like, is he better than Aizen? Is he better than Aizen? Personally, I mean, personally, I feel like they do completely different things despite having the same exact kit. If it comes to the nuking, yes, this Yamamoto eats Aizen's lunch for breakfast right like he literally just takes his sandwich and shoves his face into the lunch tray but if it comes to like normal like gameplay like Aizen has so much going for him with the frenzy plus uh with the frenzy plus two and all that i mean needless to say this yamamoto is absolutely cracked i don't i really don't think that i have to go in too much deeper uh like i said i'm going to show the epic raid gameplay just so that you can get an idea that like Stuff can get a bit crazy. Keep in mind, in Epic Raids, you deal twice the amount of damage because of the way Epic Raids is featured when you are a um, a bonus unit. And he dealt roughly like 19 million damage or some, something along those lines. But yeah, 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 pretty good. But overall, um, shout out to my boy Prex, Mr. As well as my boy Marcellus for allowing me to do this combined showcase. I wanted to come out with a showcase that really showcased uh, how strong this character can be. And I really think that Caleb. Normally, I would say I think Caleb did a good job, but I think Caleb over overtuned the literal hell out of this character. I am deathly afraid of what's to come to try to make this character an okay character. Like you, we we've seen it with Biakia. They came out with like it like. IT Ultra, 5th Anniversary Byakuya, like, borderline, not even played anymore. Um, so yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm low-key scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared.